so today I got a package. I actually got it last week, but there was some uh, miscommunication with receiving the package. So I'm opening this today. And this should be something very interesting that I ordered a couple weeks ago from uh, AliExpress. I'm gonna put the link in the description for this product. There we go, we got it. You know it's quality when it says shine on. That's when you know you got premium quality. I'm fucking dying in this car. It's so damn hot out here. But you know it's gonna be hot when I put this part on my car. It's gonna look so hot. So are you guys ready? I ordered the most out of the most rice that I could get. Not really but this kind of functions really well. This is a really nice thing out here. We don't want to show anyone. So out here we got a mirror for the interior. This is actually like a little curved mirror as you guys can see. It's pretty cool. It's like super wide. Um, I don't know how many inches. It is wide but it's like it's pretty fucking big and its packaging is pretty annoying. I think this is a fake one from Broadway or something. It's a pretty uh, well-known brand. It could be a real one. I don't know. I have no idea. I ordered it from uh, AliExpress. It looks pretty cool. Look at this. This is like super wide. Look at this. Look how fucking wide this is. This is like a curve thing before your car. That isn't cool, I don't know what it is. This is super nice, look at this. When you wanna spot all that pussy, now you got it. You can just get the curve out there. You, you just see pussy left, you see pussy right, you see pussy behind you. You gotta pick them all up. Too bad we only got one seat in this car because race car. So out here we have another close look. This is like a slight curve into it. It's pretty cool. Um, it says Broadway on it, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, it's upside down, but whatever. It says made in China, so you know it's quality. You know you got cool, good quality when when it's on there. So basically, you get these um, little tap things. They have a little spring in them. You just do this, I guess. And now we got a. Oh my god, this is super cool! Holy shit! Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at how much you can see. This is literally what I can see when I'm. Oh my god, this is so cool. The reason why I got this is because I don't have a, a mirror on the right side. And when I want to like turn into streets and shit. Um, you know, I usually have this mirror like going like this a little bit. So I see, you know, bikers and like whatnot and pedestrians walking. And, um, you know, it's kind of annoying to, to watch behind your shoulder. So I had a curve like that and then I couldn't see behind me. So now I get this to solve the problem. So right now I got it installed properly. It's like nice and positioned. So um, this is kind of what I'm seeing when I look into it. This is like super wide. This is this is absolutely crazy. I absolutely love it. And um, I hope it's going well when I'm driving. So we're gonna test it out right now. Before this mirror, I think I paid four bucks, which is not too bad, maybe six. I really don't remember. You gotta look that up real quick. I will put a link in the description for this. This is super nice. They have, the, this is a 300 mil one. They have like 270s. They have like, I maybe even 250s. I don't know. They also have them without the curve because this one is with the curve. As you guys can see, this is like, clearly curved so it has a nice nice curve to it if you buy them without the curve it's like a tiny bit less that you can see but it's still nice and um i really highly recommend getting this because why the hell not this is super nice costs me five bucks i don't know one thing i will definitely do maybe this week maybe next week i don't know but i really really want to um, get this black because I don't know, yeah the sun is kind of in the way if I hold it like this you can clearly see the original mirror is gray just like most of the interior but from my parts car this is black so it kind of blends in with the trim a little more and so you don't have this like weird looking contrast on it so it's like nice and one color so I'm definitely gonna be taking out the uh, the black one from the parts car and put that on so the color blends in a little more nicely and that's about it so yesterday i unboxed the mirror that i got right here in the car and today i kind of want to switch the color because we got this ugly ass gray looking i don't know if you guys can see it on the on the screen right now you can i don't know yeah right now you can anyway so i thought it was like kind of ugly looking because you know the trim that i just got is black and then I got the, um, a gray brownie looking mirror behind it and the colors just don't match so I just got to the shop so I'm gonna be taking out the one from that one 
because this one is black, I hope. I thought it was black. I'm just gonna take this one out. Oh, it's it's in pretty bad condition, actually. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm still gonna take it. It's just one bolt in the middle, just one screw. So we can get a focus on that right there. And then we grab that one, put it in that one so the colors kind of match because this is kind of ugly looking. One of the main things that I love about this car and I hate about that car uh, because this one is a more like a luxury version. There's a little handle out there that allows you to open the trunk from the inside of the car. But whenever your car is running or something and you just got to take something out of the trunk. Um, you got to shut the car down, you got to take the key and you got to open it with the key with the other one. And now you have this thing. It's pretty nice. I actually use it all the time, so yeah, that's what I hate the most about that car and the tachometer thing. Grab that screwdriver and unscrew the damn thing. Honestly guys, I really love the no mirror look. I'm just gonna go with the no mirror look, so um, this is the end of the video. Um, I'll see you guys later. So I just got this mirror in, um, the sun is kind of annoying, it's kind of in a bad way, but anyway, it's uh, looking pretty good. This one is kind of shot, it has some damage and it's kind of dirty, but I'm, I'm just gonna sand it someday or something, or kind of clean it up or something. And uh, there's some differences with this one and the one that I had in. This one is like really really flat, the other one goes like smoothly around this thing out here and it's like all different looking and you have a little tab on the bottom so you know you click it so you have the um for at night or so, whatever the hell people use it for I, it goes up or down or something i don't know but this this one is also a little smaller the other one is a tiny bit wider than this one but basically when i'm driving with this mirror this is what i see this is everything i can see this is like super small and when we take this one we put that one on come on go on Okay, there we go. This is what I can see now when I'm in the uh, driving the car. So that's uh, a pretty big difference. No, we got this one out here. As you guys can see, this is a little bit bigger. The color is even different when you look in it. This is like more bluish gray. You have the tap in the bottom. And as you guys can see, it is way thicker. So it's like way bulkier. It has more roundings to it too. So these are like totally different. And um, some people kind of want to have a comparison with this car and the uh, luxury version that I got this is the Altair and this is the uh, what was it called an LD so um, I will be maybe doing a comparison video sometime like what not with the um, interior and what kind of extra luxuries you get for an example you don't have a little handle out here but the, the carpet is cut for the handle so um, it's uh, kind of weird and you don't have a center console it's a uh, pretty plain looking you don't even get a radio in it stock which mine actually had but I took it out the seats are way different there's a lot of it but I might make a comparison video for that later on and um, but right now I'm going to a wreck your yard um, I kind of want to have some, some mirrors for the sides I want to have something different not the OEM ones I can get an OEM one for the right too so I have two mirrors left and right but I think those look a little bit dull and I really don't like the look of these so I kind of want to look for Miata mirrors so I, I will just drill two holes on the side for the Miata mirror then I have like a little round one like those chrome looking ones so it fits with the chrome on here too and all so that would look pretty cool the, the door handles are also chrome these are made from metal and uh, on these ones plastic bulky looking ones all there but anyway um i promised you guys i would be working on a video where i cut the axles i do a little angle mod kit on this a diy angle kit and um i've been working on this a little bit i took the uh, the these out and these were a bitch to get out these were like so on there i was hammering on it nothing i had to borrow a tool when i borrowed the tool you know it went out pretty easily, not even that easily, but right now I need a breaker bar for these bolts in the bottom for the strut to come out because these are rusted on solid on there, really can't get them out, so um, kind of got to get a um, breaker bar for this bitch. Then I can continue to work on it when I take the strut out. And I don't know how I'm going to be taking the other bolt that's it going through here. Uh, when I have the knuckles out completely, I will begin doing the uh, angle mod kit video thing where I show you guys how to cut them, how to weld them and all that. So it's actually pretty easy, you just 
you just take out an inch or something and you just move it just weld it again but you gotta make sure this thing still fits on there you can't have too much angle on going one way or the other and uh, you will need to redo your alignment on these bitches so i will show you how to do that too and uh, i will show you guys a couple trip uh, a couple of tricks and tips for that so you know what to look for like understeer oversteer how you want to react going into corners and whatnot so um yeah so as you guys can see here this is the angle that i'm getting with without an angle mod kit on it it's not that much you can see the spindle going like that out of the car this is roughly about 20 degrees or something i have no idea but basically when we shorten this one in it goes like this as you guys can see and that's how we weld it on there you you don't want to shorten them too much otherwise you still can't like get full lock out of them and then you're like completely fucked and you get even less you, you gotta do it absolutely perfect you gotta find that sweet spot to weld this back onto and um when you find that this is the angle that i'm getting look at this this is a nice for this is like almost 50 degrees or something i don't know this is let's see this is definitely a 40 degrees 45 45 to 50 degrees this is roughly uh, almost 50 degrees I think it's uh, considerable 50 degrees so we basically just want to weld this shorter so that way it can reach that as you guys can see I put it on where it's supposed to get welded onto so otherwise we just make this Without angle mod, with angle mod, that's a huge difference. With angle mod, steering to the other side, that's a huge damn difference, dude. This is what we get. I just noticed I had my last pack of cigarettes just laying out there for um, almost half a year, at least six months or something. I quit smoking a couple months ago. Like every now and then I still smoke cigarettes, but like I really don't need them anymore. It's just like when you're drinking a beer with your boys and then you just want to light one up and you know just relax i really gotta clean in here someday and sooner or later and there's a bunch of water in that corner it's still leaking inside it's pretty annoying i can't get rid of the leak which is like it's a double laid thing like of steel i can only reach the outer one but i need the inner, inner one can't reach that so i get a bunch of water in my car oh my god guys you will not believe this those lights are on which means i just turned the key um i i I took the wrong key, I was uh, mistaken, I, I have to take this key for this car, this is the key from that car, and I just jammed this in, I turned it, what the fuck, I can take the, I just turned the thing, I turned the thing, the, the lights are on, and I can take it out, what the fuck, this is so weird, holy shit, I just turned the thing, Let, let's try to start it like this, oh I can fucking start it, Yeah, my car is a bitch to start. I have no key in and my car is fucking running. This is so cool, guys. Look at this. This is fucking crazy. Now I can go to that car and start that one up, but I'm not going to. But look, this is the black key. I'm just I'm just going to use it for this one. Look at this. Yeah, the thing is that stuck every now and then behind this little piece out here, but... This is the key from that car. I'm gonna try the key from that car in this car real quick. So uh, let's take the chrome one, try to jam that in. And um, it's not working. It's not working, but look, this is the black key. I'm gonna put that one in. What the fuck? Yeah, right here, look. I'm not gonna start it because I don't have a belt and whatnot on it. And don't even have a pump on it. Well, let's try this again. Yeah, this one is not going over. It's so weird. I'm gonna try the door in this car now. The doors don't open, but I can only turn the car on with them. This is the original one, works fine. 
That's so fucking weird. It's so funny. I have no key in here. I, I have the fucking keys out here. So that's that's pretty cool. No keys. I'm going to put you over there. I'm going to drive. This is super weird. So um, yesterday I was drifting out here. And uh, you can see these tire marks are from me. I came out drifting there. And I had a little bit too much speed going in here. And I hit the grass. I hit the bank, almost hit that uh, ditch out there, going in there. But you can see my tire mark going like this. This is where my tire is, and this is where this big pole is, this uh, th this light out here. And um, this is just one step from that away. And look at the ass of my car. If you if you look at the middle of the wheel, this is more than one step the car. So. I hit it from like a couple inches, maybe an inch, maybe half an inch, maybe just a mil. Who the hell knows, maybe it was just a mil. So um, I just got to the wrecker out here and um, they were asking 30 bucks for 13 inches, two tires. And they're like fairly new, I saw them and 14 inches like for these for these rims, it's uh, 40 bucks. So, and, and they're like as good as new. But I just want to open my car and I'm taking this key, you know, like why not try a little bit. And all of a sudden, you just gotta wiggle around, but it, it works. I can, I can open and start my car with the with the keys of the other one, so that's pretty cool, I guess. But look at this. This is fucking mad. Like I'm using the key from the other one. Right now, it's not working for some reason. Maybe I have to flip it. I don't know. I'm just gonna try this again. Okay, for some fucking reason, it's not working on a moment. That's really strange. So this month I will be refreshing engine oil, gear oil and diff oil because my diff oil is my diff is leaking like hell. It's absolutely crazy. I don't even think I still get any gear oil in the diff because when I swapped the new angles and put the new diff in after I welded it and it broke, um, I took the axles and the diff from the other car and just slapped it on. I didn't even put RTV or whatever on it. I thought, you know, the, the old RTV is still good, you know, why, why would we even bother cleaning this up and uh, put a new one on so um, I just slapped it on there and uh, hope for the best apparently it's leaking like hell I even doubt there's still any in there and um, I kind of want to put the uh, oil cooler behind the grill so it's not like exposed so I don't get pulled over for it and um, I will definitely be working on the angle kit this month or something but I'm like really busy with other stuff too so uh, I hope I get the time to come around with doing so so um, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.